what's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the supreme decisions and today i'm going to do something which you can thank me for later but i'm going to do something also a little different and today i'm going to start off with a poem our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that others won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we're liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Now, a lot of you are going to wonder why I even thought about choosing that particular passage. It's because I've gone through case after case after video after video showing you you are powerful beyond measure. You're powerful beyond all of your thoughts. You're powerful beyond all your perceptions. You are powerful because you've been programmed to be powerless. I've shown you that police are to be amenable to you at all times. I've shown you that police don't have authority over you until you commit a crime. I've shown you that everyone that deals with you has a fiduciary duty for your benefit. Now, I'm gonna show you one more time because we talk about counsel, because I speak about them as being employees and they must follow guidelines because you must instruct them, which gives you the power as the employer. Now, today, McCoy v. Louisiana, 584 US, a 2018 case. It's simple, it's cut and dry, it is without question something that lets your light shine and shows your power and who is the actual authoritarian in your life. McCoy v. Louisiana Guaranteeing a defendant's right to counsel for his or her defense is the defendant's prerogative, not that counsel. Because in McCoy v. Louisiana, McCoy wanted to plead a certain way. He wanted to ask for certain documents. His counsel, who is there only for assistance, chose to do otherwise. And this is where you have things such as ineffectiveness of counsel. Why? Because they're unable to follow instructions. That's why they're there for assistance because they've done it more often than you have. But it's only in advisory capacity because counsel must follow instructions of the client. The Sixth Amendment guarantees defendants right to choose the objectives of his defense and to assist that his counsel refrained from admitting guilt. Even when counsel's experience-based view is that confessing guilt offers the defendant the best chance to avoid the penalties. Now, when you're talking about that, they're only there in advisory capacity. Why? Because you are powerful beyond means. What are you gonna do with your power? I appreciate each and every one of you, and today's episode is brought to us by Leonard. We appreciate you. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Keep going with the Apple Pay, Venmo, 
Cash App and Google Wallet. All of them work all the time. Till next time.